Uh, welcome to new Selfish OS app podcast and this time around it's about Filecat, the file manager now out in version 2.0 and it has several new features that I want to show you uh, right now. Uh, first of all the main new feature that you will find in this version is the places page. So if I go to the places page you will see it is changed now and I have a data section on top and this data section allows me to switch between uh, videos, pictures, music, downloads and documents. And if I go into pictures for example, I have the option to just simply search for pictures here and I get nice little previews. And the same goes for music files for example. I have my whole music collection here. I don't have to browse to or through the various different files and folders. I can just simply uh, see all my music in here. I can search for music and just simply play it. Uh, like for example, let's search something with uh, love. We can type it correctly. And you can see I can just simply tap here and it will start playing back the music. And I can of course go back and back again. The same goes for downloads. I have downloads I can search through and of course also documents that I can search through if I want to do this. So this is the first change. Then you can see on the top there is now a drop down pull in menu and I can just simply have two options here to simply open things up just like for example network drives which will use an external application called fishnet mount. So if you don't have fishnet mount installed you can get it from open repos just search for this fishnet mount and you can just simply have the option to just uh, add network shares in this case SMB, SIFS, NFS, SSHFS and NFS4 uh, which are supported by fishnet mount. And under places you also have a storage information now so if you want to get to know more about your storage situ situation you can just simply uh, click on this so this is basically the new um, the new uh, data section under places and the new menu under places. When we go to pictures, let me go to the picture folder. You have several wallpapers in here and if I go to Sunrising Anime for example I have now this picture viewer which allows me to switch between different pictures and open this picture externally. So if I want to set this as my uh, ambience for example I can go to open external it will open up in the image viewer of Safish OS and I have the option to just simply say I want this set as my ambience I can give it a name uh, sunrise and click accept and you can see now if I close this I have now this set as an ambience and I can go to next uh, photo if I like to. I can zoom in all the way in as if I like to and with a double tap I can go back. And of course if I like to have it in landscape mode I can do this as well. Zoom in, have it filling my whole space without having my um, menu here. If I click on this I get my menu again. I can go to next file open externally or close the image viewer. Then of course there are some other um, actions and, and things that have been changed. Uh, just like for example if I want to open the file directly in an external editor I can just simply go to properties here and you can see the preview here of the file and if I click on this it will open it e externally. This not only works for images, this works basically for all um, files so let me go into downloads for example and let me go into a video file for example and if I click here it will open it allows me to open up the file externally as you can see it will give me a chooser this is the normal self rest chooser when it comes to open and open files externally then some other options of course translations are added here as well there is a busy indicator for longer, um, for bigger uh, files. Uh, let me get to one pictures folder. Is there a really, really big file like this one here? Uh, 
it is not big enough but if you have really really big files after a second if it's more than a second of loading time you will get a nice little progress indicator that shows that the file is still loading and uh, i think this is also very useful yeah and uh, that's basically everything for this change uh, as you can see here uh, this is version 2.0 of filecat you can download it right now on open repos already it's available there it will be available on uh, the harbor store as well let me just check the harbor store i don't think it has the new version yet as of now but it will be available on open repo so you can just grab it from storeman and in storeman it should be under recent updates if you download it right now so you can see here uh, version 2.0 you can see also the change log here if you like to and uh, otherwise let me just check on the yola store if uh, filecat is available in the newest version yet i think they need a bit longer yet it's still version 1.9 so it needs a little bit longer but it will be available on the yola store as well and you can safely upgrade to this new version i hope you enjoyed this little uh, demonstration this little video and uh, about filecat that's everything for this video and until the next time bye